Hi there. It's now over four months since the general election back on February the 8th. No one could have imagined then what the following months would bring. Over 1,700 families have lost a loved one from COVID-19. People have had their lives turned upside down, going months without seeing family and close friends. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their job. Businesses have been forced to close. Never before has our country been faced with such deep uncertainty. The challenge ahead is monumental, but it is one we can rise to. We didn't get as many seats as we wanted back in February, but we were returned as the largest party in Dáil Éireann. We have been working really hard since to give this country a government, and it must be a government that can last and that is prepared to be radical and ambitious. After a huge amount of work, we have now agreed a draft programme for government with Fine Gael and the Green Party. The Fianna Fáil influence is evident right through the document. The economic health of our country has been profoundly damaged in recent months. The number one priority for an incoming government will be to repair and rebuild the Irish economy, to support businesses in these really tough times and help people to get back to work. In this programme for government, there's a real focus on supporting small and medium-sized enterprises, the backbone of the Irish economy. If we enter government, there will be a stimulus package introduced next month, in July, that will help businesses to get back on their feet. We need better working capital schemes, further grant support, and we need a tailored package of supports for individual sectors that have been the worst hit. New legislation will need to be urgently passed. We're committed to setting up a recovery fund and to record levels of capital investment, delivering vital infrastructure projects across the country. In the autumn, we will launch a national economic plan that will lay out the steps we must take to build a new and sustainable economy. With the outcome of the Brexit trade talks looking increasingly uncertain, we need a strong and stable government now more than ever. For the past few years in the Dáil, we have championed the need for insurance reform. Our commitment to this issue is strongly reflected in the programme for government. A new cabinet subcommittee will drive badly needed insurance reform. This is a big and a necessary change. Rising premiums and even the inability to get cover is a massive threat to so many businesses, sports clubs and community groups. We have laid out a clear pathway to dealing with award levels and insurance fraud. We will strengthen and reform the Injuries Assessment Board and we will give the consumer watchdog more power to tackle anti-competitive practices in the industry. We believe credit unions have the potential to play an even greater role in communities and in supporting our economy. We commit to working with the credit union movement to remove the barriers that prevent them from reaching that potential. For those struggling financially and who see no light at the end of the tunnel, we will introduce badly needed reforms to the insolvency system. We will ensure that people in genuine difficulty with their mortgage are supported and we will expand the mortgage to rent scheme as an important safety net. Across so many areas, we have secured commitments in line with our party's policies. More social and affordable housing, a commitment to tackle waiting lists and health, more apprenticeships, a keen focus on the value of education and on rural communities. The planned increase in the pension age next year will not go ahead as a result of the programme for government negotiations. Instead, a commission on pensions will give careful consideration to the complex issues involved and make recommendations for government to consider. An incoming government will face huge challenges. It will not be easy. If you have any questions about the programme for government, please do reach out to us. We cannot do any of this without your support. I know this is a big step for so many of our members, and it is for all of us. But we are in politics to serve the Irish people and to do the very best we can to deal with the issues that matter to them. The place you can do that is in government. This is not a time to be sitting on the sidelines. Ireland needs a government. We need Fianna Fáil to be in that government. I'm asking you to support this programme for government and to give our party the privilege of serving in government and delivering for the people we represent. Thank you all very much.